Hi Leos! Welcome to Auntie Tarot. Today we're going to do your reading for um, July. Actually your birthday reading. So happy birthday to all you Leos out there that have celebrated or um, going to be celebrating your birthdays. Um, I have these two cards here because as I was shuffling doing the pre-shuffle these two cards jump out and they're both ending cards. One is Ten of Swords and one is the Death card. Um, so there's some kind of ending of some sort or transformation and for some of you they, there may, ha may have been um, an unexpected an unexpected um, even death in, a, in the in the family situation because at the bottom of the deck I saw uh, ten of pentacles and there's roots here is uprooted so something unexpected happened that uprooted you guys or uprooted or sh um, had shaken shaken your foundation or the family foundation um, which led you to um, go towards a better place, leaving all that behind, and then going, going to a calmer, calmer place. Um, it was karmic, because in this deck, he's called Pan, but this is the devil card, so there was, it was a karmic, um, karmic situation, dealing with karma, balancing karma. Uh, perhaps from a past life, actually, which may have forced you guys to look at things from a different perspective to bring you to towards enlightenment and deep thinking and inner reflection. So... We have the Seven of Swords and then we have the Queen of Wands. So this is you guys right here. Yeah, it came at you quickly. Alright, so let's just... Um, yeah, so Nine of Pentacles. This is the Independence card. So it may have left you... Um, widow or alone or independent. Okay, so let's see. What else do we get for you guys? Let's see if we can get some a little bit more positive messages coming in. Messages for the Leo Collective Spirit. What is currently going on with Leo? I usually do love readings, um, but that, you know, those cards just popped up. So some of you Leos may be going through that or experiencing that. What is this? That seems to love the devil again. So a toxic situation, negative, dark situation, karmic situation. Um, I hear manipulative manipulative situation attachment and it could be codependency as well but there's a whole there's a whole new beginning a solid beginning you're going to cut all that toxicity out you're going to cut that Cut that attachment. Cut that chain. That cord. Cut that cord and start a new a new life. We have Queen of Swords at the bottom. I mean Queen of Cups at the bottom, so um, connecting with your emotions or you could be dealing with a water sign and then there's also king of swords so some of you could be dealing with an air sign a Libra a, an Aquarius or a Gemini 
planning new routes, waiting for your ship to come in, looking towards the horizon. Ten of Cups, there is happiness coming, rainbow. All right, so let's just see what else we get. Spirit guides, angels, ascendant masters. It will be a clear channel for the Leo Collective. Messages for Leos. Messages for Leo Spirit. What is currently going on with Leos? Manifesting, manifesting a new reality after the ending. Page of Pentacles. Some of you may get into gardening or planting, planting new seeds, planting new roots. Start planting a new foundation. So it could be planting literally as, as gardening, you know, planting flowers, things like that to help you deal or cope with the transition or situation, but also uh, planting as in planting seeds, starting new roots, new life. So you're manifesting that new beginning. Look, we have Ten of Swords at the bottom. This is heavy energy, Leo's. Eight of Cups. You guys are walking away from this dead ending situation. Ace of Wands and starting anew. There was a big uh, fight or unfair fight argument possibly with an air sign. Look, we have an, an air sign. So some of you Leos may have gone through this situation with an air sign. Again, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or they may have air, air, air in their chart somewhere. We have Queen of Pentacles, Earth sign. And then Eight of Pentacles, working, saving, working, building back up again to start a new beginning. So something tragic, something major happened and it uprooted you guys and it knocked you guys out of balance. It was unexpected. You didn't see it coming. And um, and you're just getting your balance back from that and trying to heal. But at the same time, leaving that situation or scenario behind Moving forward, starting anew, slowly, yeah, with new perspective, and he has a light. So healing, lots of healing. You guys are working on healing, or healing energy is coming for you guys. Healing, balancing, reflecting, looking with new perspective, getting enlightenment. You know how in life when something major or catastrophic hit you, after the initial shock, um, hurt, pain, you go through the healing and then you get, you look at life differently and some people may become more spiritual, more religious, more, um, have more faith. Not that you didn't have faith, but, you know, strengthen your faith because you've been through the, the hardship or the situation. Here we have Nine of Cups, so happiness and abundance will come forward. Yeah, new beginnings for you guys. So moving forward, there will be peace, abundance, overflowing, love, and joy. Medicine wheel, yeah, so there's a change. Change. So that was karmic, what you just went through, the hermit. Yeah, the hermit. Isolation. Seeing the light. So, 
what you have gone through may have been horrific, horrific but it was karmic. And it was also an enlightening moment. The Emperor taking charge, getting grounded. King of Pentacles grounding. There's an earth an earth sign might be involved, a Taurus. A Virgo or a Capricorn. Basil. Yeah, you guys are planning now. Planning towards the future. Looking forward. Looking ahead. After that devastating blow. Looking towards the future. At your options. Your choices. As you move forward. And then there's a Two of Cups. So there's a connection. A soul connection. Because Two of Cups came out uh, in the pre-shuffle as well. So there's there's going to be a new union or new connection or reconnection. Temperance. Yeah, this temperance also came, came out in the pre-shuffle. See, she has the one foot on the land, one foot in the water. Yeah, really trying to balance. Balance and heal. And this was also in the pre-shuffle. Patience. Planning. Patience. You had a lot. You had invested a lot. In, in the person or in the relationship or in the situation. So it was a devastating blow for it to end so abruptly like that. But now it's, you're going through healing. So it will take patience and strength. Alright. What else, Spirit? What else? Anything else? Three of Cups. Though there will be a celebration in, in the future. Going forward. Yeah, some of you may be holding on to the situation. good messages for Leo spirit the energy is so heavy you guys queen of swords that's an air an air sign either that or some of you may be in your head a lot of mental stress alright what is this four of wands yeah, stability. Trying to get your, gain your stability and rebuild your foundation that was knocked knocked out of you. What what is next for Leo going forward, Spirit? What is next for Leos going forward? What can Leos expect going forward? Oh goodness, discontent. So some of you Leos are depressed, sad, in anguish and pain over this ending. Yeah, it's a heavy energy. I'm trying to shake this energy. Is there any, any positive, good messages? Nine of Pentacles. Gain. So you will have get a gain because we had nine of pentacles before. This is the second nine of pentacles. We had the nine of pentacles before with that lady I said working on your independence. 
we did have a nine of pentacles so it's I get a sense Leo is gonna take some time to heal time can heal all wounds but it's still fresh so it's gonna take some time look we have the lovers the lovers came out in this deck also in the pre-shuffle so some of you will find love again look this is beautiful the lovers and the sun so there is a bright future for you guys because I asked for a positive message. So there is love coming. There is a new beginning. And the sun will shine again. There is hope. There is hope. And it may be with a water sign. Look, we have King of Cups. Wow. There may be a love offer. Water signs are Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpios. Look at this. This is a beautiful combination. The Lovers, the Sun, and the King of Cups. So some of you Leos will find love going forward, or love will be coming in after this, after this hard time. After this Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you, some of you guys are, are, are having nostalgia. Going through nostalgia. We have seven of pentacles again. Yeah, just patience, Leos. You you need some patience. And be patient with yourself. Here's this tower confirming this unexpected ending. You guys did not see this coming at all. Whatever this was. An ending in a relationship. A death of a loved one. Unexpected death. Unexpected ending. It was a very unexpected thing that really shocked you guys. Knocked your foundation for movement. There will be balancing the black and the white, the light and the dark. Yeah, you guys just went through a major, major, major heart pain, heartbreak. We have the elder, which is the teacher. But... In the big scheme of thing, it's 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 gonna make you more, um, more spiritual, more, 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 um, strengthen your faith. You know, doing trying times, people's faith grow stronger. So it's going to connect you with your guys or your angels or your God or it's going to, it's going to, you're going to grow spiritually from this. This pain, this heartache, this unexpected ending. Um, as you heal from it and balance from it, it's going to strengthen your faith. It's going to strengthen your faith, is what I'm trying to say. It's going to make you that much stronger in your faith, whatever your faith may be, God or Buddha or whomever, the angels, your, you know, it's, it's going to make you stronger. And then, and then there is a new love coming in for you guys. So there is, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And look, I have put the sun down on this ending. So there will be light after. Okay, Leo? Just know that good things are coming. New beginnings are coming after the healing. But you have to be patient. Be patient. Be patient with yourself. And, um, and take it easy on yourself. <coughs> Don't push yourself too hard to... Uh, give yourself time to heal from this because it was major. All right, Leos, wishing you all the best. Love and light to you. I hope that was helpful, um, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, Leos. Bye.